As promised, I have a very special guest on the phone, a member of the 2012 U.S. Olympic team that got a silver medal in volleyball, Tamari Miyashiro. Tamari, I'm glad to have you on the air. How are you? Thanks. Glad to be on. Um, I'm good. I'm doing well. Well, I understand that you're coming up into town to run a clinic tomorrow at Silver State Volleyball Club. It's going to be exciting. We're glad to have you up here. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. It was, uh, I think we kind of set up last minute, but hopefully uh, we can get some girls out and, you know, teach a little volleyball, um, at least as far as what I've learned, and hope to kind of share a little bit of knowledge. And that's the main goal, I guess. All right. Well, I know that you're a 2004 Gatorade Player of the Year from Hawaii, but what people don't realize till you look at you is you're only about five foot four. So, contrary to popular belief, there is a huge place for people your size in this sport. Uh huh. Yeah. I actually. Um, so I've actually been listed as five four, but I'm actually five seven. Not oh, okay. Five makes, seven. Excuse me. Not. <laughs> no, not that it makes that much of a difference, but uh, yes, for sure. I uh, I grew up. I guess on the average size, and then once I got to college, I was pretty small, of course. Um, the high school that I went to, I think I was still just about average size. And, um, yeah, I think just knowing that my mom, sister, and cousin, um, and my other club coaches, they kind of pushed me to learn the game from every aspect, whether I was hitting or studying or passing. And so I think that kind of paid off. And, um I don't know if many people know, but just a lot of Hawaiian teams were a little bit smaller, so we have to emphasize other parts of the game because, you know, when we uh, play bigger teams, we have to rely on ball control. We have to rely on uh, maybe some other aspects that, you know, maybe size doesn't have quite an advantage of. So, uh, I don't know, from a young age, I guess it was kind of instilled in me to learn how to play the game all around um, and maybe work twice as hard just because there's going to be some bigger girls and taller and uh, we, I don't know, we kind of always were at a disadvantage just in height alone. Well, you know, watching you play, you make the game look very easy, but we know it's not. And you rely a lot on instincts. And, and how much of the game is learning the instincts and how much of it is just playing? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think it's both. I think, um, I don't know if necessarily it's even, but um, I, I guess I like to use the term reading, and on the national team, we talk a lot about reading, and Karch, who is our coach right now, uh, you know, he's kind of taught us a little bit more, and we've been able to kind of build, um, we call it like a toolbox, and we're able to see the game um, at a pretty high level, and, you know, it's pretty cool that we get to learn from him, and I think he's one of the best readers of the game ever to play it, and so, uh, you know, we've we've kind of learned some cues that we see just in the game. And uh, volleyball, if you look at it, it's, it's pretty patterned. And even teams that aren't patterned, there's some pretty obvious things that happen over and over and over again. And I think the ability to pick up on those little cues um, can help you play defense and, you know, play the game at a higher level uh, anyway. But for me, defensively, uh, we've been able to kind of learn a pretty specific eye work and I think that kind of helps reading. Um, I think a lot of hours in the gym also help your ability to read just because you're seeing a lot of different situations. You know, I think it's a bunch of things. Thank you so much for that. And we'll make sure. Silver State Volleyball Club tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Thank you very much, Tamari, and we'll see you then. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back.